Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy the Saint, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how I've got my uh, new egg farm set up, a little bit different setup here, and I'm going to show you what you can do with the eggs. This is all new, uh, they just added in the, uh, the new update for the uh, kibble, and basically you can use dinosaur eggs um, to create n a new food, to make taming faster and uh, more efficient. Um, so what I'm going to show you here, I'm just going to grab, I just went and harvested a bunch of berries um, with my uh, mammoth. It does it really quick. I just, you know, prefer the, the way the mammoth gathers them really quick. You can do use a couple, any dinosaur you like. Stegosaurus is really good. Triceratops is okay at it. Um, I just like the mammoth and that's why I keep it parked out here close to the, um, close to the farming fort. Anyways, alright, so I grabbed, oh, I grabbed too much. Hang on, let me throw a little bit back on him can't carry all this stuff anyways. Uh, throw these yellow ones back. Alright. So I grab a bunch of berries, um, and I... God, I still got too much. Well, I overfeed my uh, dodos, and I do it for a reason, because it, it seems like when they run out of food, they don't lay eggs. I don't know if it's true or not, but if they don't have food on them, they don't seem to lay as many eggs, as far as my experience is, has been. Um, we built this little uh, taming pen out here to actually go grab dinosaurs, small dinosaurs, and drop them in here and tame them. And what I ended up using it for after we gotten everything we wanted is I use it for my dodo pen. I've got six of them in here. I've got three males and three females. You don't have to do it that way. That's just the way I did it. In fact, I'm, what I'm going to do is go grab more females and drop them in here and just have a bunch of females. You really only have to have one male, and it'll mate boost them all. But you do not have to have them mate boosted at all for this to work. Um... All you need are female dodos, and um, they will lay you eggs. So on all my females, I am going to place a lot of berries on them. Um, let's see, and I'm going to put this, again, this just seems to work better for me. I'm going to put a little of every color. I'm not going to put narco berries on them, but I'll put a little of every color on them. And um, on, on just the females. On the males, it doesn't really matter what I put on. Let's see, so this is a male. So I'm just, he's just going to have some extra yellows I've got left over. Uh, where's the other male? This is a male. So he's just going to have some leftover blues. Uh, might as well level him up a little bit while I'm here. And i got a female over here. And what I've noticed, what my experience has been, your mileage may vary, but this dodo right here lays a lot of eggs. This one and the very first one that I that I um, that one right there lays eggs that I've caught the most, and but this one right here as well. My third female, this one right here, almost never I've not f gotten an egg off this one yet. I don't know why. Uh, maybe I'm just coming at the wrong times. You know, it's supposed to just be a random thing when they lay eggs. Um, oh, there's one right there, right there. See, I told you that one lays a lot of eggs, and see, I put food on her, and she laid an egg. So I'll grab that. Let me finish feeding them real quick. Uh, what am I missing? A red one. And then I'll feed my males the leftovers. All right, have that. And, oh, he's already got a bunch. Okay, that's right. So, all right, that'll do. I got an egg, um, and it is random when they lay an egg. Um, it's, it, but it seems to increase your odds when they're well fed. Um, so I like to stack them up with food. I check them every day and make sure they've got food on them. Um, what else? Uh, I've got a female Ankylosaurus. I've been trying to get to lay an egg, but I just can't get it to lay one for some reason. Um, so, throw the rest of the food on her real quick. And I'll show you the, the new kibble recipes. BB has been working on our base. It is cool. Uh, he's been adding metal into all the wood and repainting everything. So it's still a little bit of work in progress, but they just added this update, so I wanted to show it to you guys. Our four refrigerators over here, and we've got all that tied in. I'll show you guys another video of that later, of uh, the, all the electricity, all the electrical wiring and our generator and everything, how we've got that set up. But for now, want to show you a recipe. Um, for instance, oh, I'll just use the dodo egg because that's what I've got. It's It's... Okay, so to make kibble with a dodo egg, I need um, cooked meat and rock -a root and the purple berries and water. Seems like there's something I'm forgetting. Oh, fiber. That's right, fiber. Uh, where's my cooked meat? Should be in this one. Just grab a stack. All right. 
Grab a stack of cooked meat, throw my eggs in there, throw the rock root, throw the berries. I've already got some fiber in there. I need to throw some water in there. I'm trying to think if there's anything I'm forgetting. Rock root, cooked meat. Oh, pff, I forgot to put the meat. Uh, there it is. Meat. Okay, and light the fire. And I, Damn it, too close. Too close to the fire. Back up, back up, back up. <laughs> I do that every time. So the reason I use thatch is because it doesn't produce charcoal like the wood does. And the charcoal can sometimes, if you've got charcoal, water, and a berry, it'll make dye instead of your what you're wanting is the actual um, recipe. You're, you want the kibble. Um, it'll give this a few seconds. That'll cook down. I actually should probably go grab some more water real quick. Um, we've got water skins over here somewhere just for this purpose. All right, I'll grab two. No, I only need one. Well, it doesn't matter put it back later. Alright, and we've got our little farm set up over here with a water spigot, so just throw that in there and it fills up. Biggity bam, throw that in there, it fills up, biggity bam. Alright, run back, throw these water skins in the pot to get it to finish cooking. The last one, we've already got one, so let's go ahead and throw another water in and that'll cook the second egg. So there it is, kibble. This is dodo egg kibble. Um, each egg gives you a different kibble um, and each one is better at taming a certain species of dinosaur. Um, the I'll post a description below and give you guys a rundown of what I've discovered so far, what, what I know works. Um, the I know the dodo kibble is good for the ichthyosaurus, the like um, dolphin looking dinosaurs. Um, I know the, the, the uh, kibble made from scorpion eggs is good for the uh there it is okay so that's the two that's all i had the materials to make so i'm just gonna throw the rest of the stuff back in the fridge real quick uh put out the fire um i know the scorpion eggs are good for t-rexes um blah, blah, blah. i forget which one is good for the spinosaurus off the top of my head they'll come to me in a minute but um all right throw this in there throw that in there that's good. Okay, so here's the kibble, and I and I've got a bunch of it already. I've I've been working out the recipes for a few of them. I made some with the Brontosaurus egg, um, which we don't have any right now, but um, I I used one to make a Brontosaurus egg, and it tamed really fast for a saber tooth. Um, so I got a good tame on a saber tooth last night actually, uh, when I was fiddling around with this um, right here. I haven't named it yet. I haven't quite come up with a name, but this is my level 91 saber tooth. Um, it was a level 80, no, it was a level 69 when I discovered it in the wild, and I got such a good tame it gained 20 levels, you know, right off the bat, and it was a level 90, so it gained 21 levels uh, right off the bat because it was such a good tame. And it was partially due to that, that, uh, that, uh, that kibble. So that's what the kibble's for. That's, it is good. I'm going to give this, I'm actually working on this guy. I want to take this one to the caves. Um, so I've been working on its health. I want to, um, get its health up to 2,000, and then I want to spend points on its melee damage and stamina. But anyways, that, yeah, that's another story. That's another episode. But what I want to do is put a saddle on that and take him to the, uh, caves and use that one for cave fighting uh, to get a bunch of chitin um, to make armor and to make uh, more importantly to make metal uh, the chitin is used to make all, all your metal, your cementing paste basically um, oh yeah, for the spinosaurus that's the next dinosaur I want to tame because I don't have one yet um, you need the uh, eggs from uh, Argentavis which is the big birds, we've got three of them on the roof but I've yet to find an egg for one um, but I'll post a link down in the description below, give you guys some of the recipes for how to create this kibble. Um, and if you haven't already, but please subscribe to my channel. I post a new video every day. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys again on the next one.